over to the right, Austin Ward, the podcast. Right. Looks like you went out to get more of an explanation on the Denzel play from Roman Wilson down there. Did you? Yeah, I, I was told that um, it was called on the field a touchdown, and because of that, um, uh, you know, it was it was upheld. Um, you know, I didn't quite understand exactly how that was, but um, but that's what they said. Uh, Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. Yeah, just uh, they, they, they um, did a nice job running the ball, and you know we ended up hanging on at the end, give it, giving our offense a chance to win, but uh, too much time off the clock there. You know we got to get a stop and get off the field. Clay Hall, WSYX. How would you rate Kyle's performance? I mean, eighteen of thirty, almost three hundred yards. The decision making. I mean. Yeah, in, in this game, you, you got to win the rushing yards and you got to win the turnover battle. And we did neither of those things, so um, you know um, if, if we're not, if that's not going to happen. We're not going to win this game. Dan, did you have your Dan Wetzel yeah. Yahoo? Ryan, um, your team played the post, it's a huge stage, so much going on. What do you tell what did you tell them that you want to share after losing a game? Yeah, I try to keep um you know, uh, what we talk about in the locker room to ourselves, but we're all disappointed. Uh, we know that um, what this game means to so many people and um and so to come up short is certainly uh, crushing, not only uh, just because you invest your whole year in it. We know at Ohio State what this game means. And so, um, you know, there's, there's a locker room in there that's devastated. And um, it wasn't a lack of effort, but, again, you know, we didn't win the rushing yards. We didn't win the turnover battle. So you're not going to win the game. Is it possible to close the door in the back uh, over here? Spencer Holbrook, Letterman Row. Ryan, you guys put points on all four second half drives. Yeah, I, I you know I felt like they they were able to establish a run a little bit there and kept the good rhythm rhythm going. Um, I felt like you know that that happens a lot in, in you know games like this. You kind of go back and forth a little bit in the second half, so that was that was uh, you know fairly normal. I felt like the guys were doing a good job early on in the game, but um, but ultimately it comes down to getting stops and then finishing drives on offense. Nathan Barrett, Cleveland dot com. No, I mean, I think there was some traction for sure. Yeah, I mean, there, there was a, certainly one drive in particular. I felt like we were really rocking off the ball and we were we were doing a good job. Um, and I don't know ultimately what the final numbers were, but uh, but but I feel I, I feel like when you go into this game, you gotta you gotta win, win rushing yards, and it didn't happen. I, you know, I don't know what the final numbers were, but but they they had more than we did, and and that's a big part of controlling the game. It certainly has to do with the last couple of drives, and then also um, you know, and then turnover battle and. You know, I'd like to say it's more than that, but I'm not sure it is. Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Ryan, um, I, I apologize if you're asking before, but just the earlier interception by Kyle, what happened on that play? I mean, how much did you feel like you were probably not feeling all day? Uh, not, not a good start. You know, you want to have a quick start. Um, you know, the kid made, made a nice play. Johnson jumped inside on a slant and, um, and, and made a nice play. You know, I, I have to see it on film, but he, I know he's playing a little bit inside leverage there. And, um, you know, uh, Kyle. You know, I, I think just kind of fired in there and, and on a slant um, play. You know, um, you know it's a bang bang play, and then so we'll have to look at the film and find out exactly what what took what took place on the play. But uh, that's what I saw from my vantage point. That was the communication that we had on the sideline. Pat Murphy, twenty four seven Sports. Ryan, you mentioned working this game all year. Michigan has a running back throw. They go for it on fourth down a few times, have some great plays. Where did you guys maybe not have those type of plays? Uh, no, I mean, I felt like we, we had some good stuff. I, I felt like, um, you know, we kind of got in a little bit of rhythm there in the second half. I thought some of the runs really hit. I thought a couple uh, explosive plays. I don't know what the explosive play breakdown was. That's usually something we figure out afterwards. But I thought we were fairly explosive because that is a, a big factor in this game as well. So I have to look and see. But uh, I, I thought when you look at it, how do you create explosives, I felt like, you know, that part we were doing a pretty decent job on offense. Right next door, Steve Hellwagon, 24-7 Coach, Sports. Coach, offensive line, it seemed like uh, Kyle was under duress quite a bit uh, today, and uh, it, it's hit on the interception uh, there at the end. Just, uh, I don't know, uh, something you guys kind of thought it seemed all season. Just what, uh, where do you leave with that? Yeah, I'll have to, have to watch it. You know, sometimes you get out of these games and it's hard to figure out. I think there were some good things. Um, you know, in terms of moving guys, you know, a couple of those drives were pretty good. I thought some of the protection was good, but like you said, not consistent enough. Stephen Meads, Cleveland.com. I'm sorry if you guys, but you got timeout left in the first half and you settled for a field goal there. Maybe you could have been a little bit more aggressive when I take that approach in the first half. 
Yeah, I, I, they they asked it before. I think it was fourth and two, or at least a long two, maybe three. And you know, I felt like at that point we were we had an opportunity to kick a was a fifty two yarder, and I felt like that was probably the right thing to do if we can get three points coming out of the half, especially starting the ball on the two yard line was probably the right move. If you make it, you feel great. If you don't, you don't. Um, so we missed it, and so certainly you know we'll second guess everything. But um, you know, if you don't convert on that fourth and three, then you don't get anything. So um, I felt like at that time that was the right move. Pat Forty, do you have your hand up? Yep. Yeah. Pat. Ryan, do you believe your team is a playoff team? Ooh, you know, I haven't even thought that far, Pat. You know, I just playing in this game, everything just so focused on this game. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd have to kind of process that. I, mean, I think this is a, we have a very good team. Uh, we came up short today, and it's devastating. Um, but I believe in our players. I, I think we have um, a veteran team. I think we have a team that, um, you know, is solid in all three phases. And, um, you know, I, I'd have to kind of see what else is out there, honestly. I, I've just been so focused on this game. I appreciate the question. I just I don't have a great answer for you right now. But, but I do believe that, you know, this team can play with anybody in the country. Take a couple more just for Coach uh, Dan Hope, 11 Warriors. Ryan, I mean, obviously, you know, the past two years have all been about trying to avenge the loss, and it doesn't happen again this year. Just where do you go from here now that you're in this situation for a third time? Yeah, I mean, um, again, it's, you know, just after the game. So it's, it's, it's hard to start thinking about all that, you know, just, um, you know, just trying to process, you know, the game right now, and, and then we'll go from there. And final question, Larry Lage, AP. Just to go back to that end of the first half, when I was asking him, you had like 30 seconds left. My thought, my question is, what was the thought process to not try to call a play to convert the first down when you have 30 seconds left, and then maybe call a timeout? Just because it was fourth down, right? Yeah, it was fourth down. You had about 30 seconds left. Ran the clock down. My question is, the thought process to not call a play with 30 seconds left, try to convert, and then maybe call a timeout or spike it or whatnot. The thought process yeah. that live time. Right. Yeah, so if you go for it on fourth down and don't get it, the other team gets the ball. So I thought at that time the best thing to do is to call a f- to just you know decide to go for a field goal. So whether it was the end of the half, or if it was you know eight minutes to go in the f- second quarter, I would have made the decision to kick a field goal. So um, you know I, I just wanted the, the clock to run down so we're out of the half. So um, whether there was thirty seconds on the clock at the half or not, the decision was made to make a field goal, and I felt like. Um, might as well run it down and then make that the last play of the half. Thank you, Coach, yep. thank you yep. very much. Thanks, yep. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.